Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am finally testing out some cosmetics from the brand W7. They do have quite a huge range and I'm pretty sure nothing really goes over the $10 mark. Now I love affordable makeup but I have been a little hesitant to try this brand because it just looked a little too cheap. They do make a lot of dupes of popular products and I just... I don't know, for some reason I just wasn't feeling it. But I finally had a good browse the other day when Chemist Warehouse had a massive sale. So everything I picked up was only $2.50 each, which is <laughs> too good of a bargain. And I'm actually really excited to try out these products. So if you have any favorites from the brand W7, I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below because if I enjoy this, I might just go back for more. All right, well if you're excited for today's video, give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. For foundation, I have the Genius Feather Light Foundation. Now, a lot of the products don't have much description, so that's all the information I've got to give you. It is in the shade, I had trouble finding this last time as well, Buff. So, mm, I don't think it's going to be quite the right shade for me. Obviously, I am very, very fair but we'll give it a go okay and then i also got some feedback from a follower on instagram and she said that it oxidizes really bad so <laughs> this is the shade oh it's quite liquidy i also have this power puff blending sponge so i'm just going to wet this now i love the shape of this sponge it's like the original beauty blender it does feel a bit dense so we'll see how it goes when it's wet all right, so the sponge is huge. It got very big when I wet it. It still feels a little dense, but it has a similar feeling to the Flower Beauty sponges, if you've ever used those. It's very soft, but we'll see, we'll see. It's not as bouncy as I like in a sponge. Okay, it does feel super lightweight. I think it's going to have quite a light coverage. The shade doesn't look too bad. When you compare it to my neck. So definitely a light coverage foundation. As you can see, it has covered the redness, but you can still see these blemishes peeping through. The sponge does feel a little harder than what I like but it's doing the job. The foundation has a little bit of a chemical scent, but nothing too strong. I can't smell it on my face. I'm going to go in with another layer to see if the coverage builds up at all. All right, so it's definitely buildable, but I'm not loving how it's sitting. So it looks quite nice on my cheeks here. A little bit of a luminous finish. But if you look around my nose, it's a little patchy. And on this blemish here, it's also patchy. All right, the foundation is on and it's all right, but I'm not loving it. First up, the shade. I feel like it's pretty fair. I actually don't mind the coverage. I like that it covers up the redness and most of my blemishes, but my skin still looks very natural. I'm just having a little trouble with any dry areas and I don't feel as though my skin is extremely dry, but this is showing any signs of dryness. So again, around my nose and on my nose looks a little patchy and my chin as well. All right, moving on to concealer. I have the HD concealer, and this is in the shade LC3. Now, this wasn't the fairest concealer that they had, which is pretty good. Now, I love it that this has a nice big doe foot applicator. The formula from when I swatched it feels like it's going to be full coverage, but it's still very lightweight. It looks very, very fair compared to the foundation. The foundation has definitely started to oxidize. All right, from one layer, I would say it is a medium coverage. I even think I could have got a shade deeper. I feel like it's quite bright. I'm going to put a little bit of the concealer on my chin as well because that foundation looks like it's already fading away. All right, the concealer is quite nice. 
just a little bit light. So I'm going to set my whole face with some powder now. I didn't pick up anything from W7 because all the powders were pretty deep and I just knew they weren't gonna be fair enough for me. I feel like the concealer is creasing quite a bit. Just gonna blend that out before I go in with powder. All right, I just powdered using my CoverGirl Clean Fresh. I have been loving this. I've already hit pan. <laughs> I know this is a good powder because I've been using it for weeks and it's just, it's not looking that good, okay? Okay, let's zoom it in. So my nose looks extremely dry around the edges here on top. It's patchy. It's not good. My under eyes. <sighs> I was digging that concealer, but as soon as I put powder on it, look how crusty they look. My chin, it looks a little bit better. Even in my forehead here, it looks a bit dry. All right, all right, all right, let's move on. I'm going to go in with the Very Vegan Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Sunkissed. <laughs> it's just looking so patchy. I think it's the foundation, hey? The shade's all right. I just, it just looks patchy because the foundation underneath is now kind of coming up. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go take off this and I'm going to start again. I'm not going to use that foundation. I think my mind's made up. Not a fan. I will try the concealer again though. And I'm also going to ditch this sponge. I feel like it's just too big and hard and I don't like the way it's blending. So I'm going to go wet my beauty blender. All right, so I've just gone and applied my L'Oreal. Oh! <laughs> I dropped it. As I was saying, I've just gone ahead and applied my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This has been a favorite of mine. And I just wanna show you a close up so you can see the difference. So you can see my nose looks less patchy. My skin looks a bit more glowy. Chin looks better as well. So that foundation just sits better. So I definitely am not a fan of this one. I am going to go in with the concealer again and just see if it applies any better on top of a different foundation. All right, the concealer looks okay by itself. It is settling into a few of my fine lines and the shade is a bit too light for my liking. So, I have been into more skin tone colored concealers lately and when I swatched this I thought it would be okay but now blending it out it just looks far too bright and stark and I've just really been pulling away from that look because I also feel as though it doesn't give me as much coverage as I like as well. Alright back in with the powder. That actually looks a lot better than what it did the first time once I set it with powder. So still a few creases, but it looks a lot smoother and not as patchy as it did the first time around. All right, so now back to the bronzer. I know it seems a little dramatic to wipe off everything and start again, but I really do want to give these products a fair go. And I could just tell that base was not going to cut it. And applying all these products on top of a shitty base is going to make all the other products look not very good. All right, now this bronzer is a bit warm, but I think I can make it work. I feel like it's still looking a little patchy, but at least now I know that it's the bronzer and not the base underneath. Okay, I think this side looks better. I went in with a bit more of a lighter hand and just built it up. I feel like it is a little patchy just here though, and up here. It's not too bad. I'll definitely play around with it a little bit more and just give it another go to see. I didn't pick up a blush, so I'm just going to go ahead with my Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Coral, just Coral. 
For highlighter, I have another one from the Very Vegan range, and this is the Highlighting Powder in Nature's Glow. This had pretty good reviews online, so I've got high hopes. I am just going to go in with a nice big fluffy brush. It's very, very pigmented. I just lightly tapped that in there. Okay, that is pretty. Okay, that leaves a beautiful glow, quite metallic. I do think it's a little deep for my skin tone. I can see the gold shade, like it's not completely blending into my skin. And it is showing some pores, but I think that is because it has quite a metallic finish. See these pores? That leaves a really pretty glow though, so I'll definitely dip into that one again. Next, I have the Fixer Face Spritz, and this is a long-lasting makeup spray. There's really no other kind of description on here, so that's all I've got to tell you. It does come in this tiny little bottle. You only get 18 mils of product, but when I was browsing online, it did have really good reviews. Now, I do wear this L'Oreal foundation a lot, and I know how long it lasts. So we will see if this setting spray actually does help it last longer. Next for brows, I have the Stroke of Genius Brow Pencil. This is a micro brow pencil, which have just been my favorites lately. So on one end, you get a spoolie, and the other end is a very tiny micro pencil. Now this one is in the shade Blonde, but it's quite deep and warm for a blonde. My brows are tinted at the moment, so they are a bit darker. It could work for me, but I wouldn't really call that a blonde. This pencil here by Maybelline, the Brow Ultra Slim, is one of my favorites. This is in the shade Blonde, so let's compare the two. As you can see, it's quite more cool toned and a bit lighter. Okay, so I think that the formula of this pencil is really nice. It glides on very easily, but it's not too soft and creamy. I can tell that these brows are going to stay in place. I think this brow pencil is going to be a winner. I will see how well the longevity is. And if it's good, I might try and find a better shade because that was just so easy to use. I'm going to quickly do my eyeshadow and then I'll be back to test out these three lipsticks. <gasps> these are what I'm most excited for. These shades are just... <sighs> They're beautiful. All right, so I just did the quickest, most boring eyeshadow look using my Maybelline color tattoo cream eyeshadow in the shade on and bronze i really love it like it looks nice it's really quick and easy so lipsticks okay first one i'm going to try them all on first one is the velvet luxe lipstick in the shade what's nude This, this is my shade. Wow. So this formula is more of a satin. It's got a nice creamy feel to it. Very opaque as well. I think this is going to become a very much loved favorite of mine. Next, I have the Lippy Chic Ultra Cream Lipstick in the shade Shout Out. Now this one is a bit more of a mauve tone. Can we just take a moment for this packaging as well? It is like the most beautiful, soft, matte packaging. The shade, oh, just stunning. Okay, that is again another beautiful, beautiful formula. Very opaque, very creamy. Now, I couldn't swatch these lipsticks in a store. I was just going by the packaging color. This one is a little different to what I usually go for, but I am digging it. 
Mm. Wow, okay. <laughs> and then the last lipstick is another lippy chic and it is in the shade Gossip. This one is more of a deep brown. Oh, when I swatched it in my haul, I pretty much had a heart attack. It's so beautiful. Let's see what it's like. Okay, so a lip liner with this one definitely wouldn't hurt. It's actually a lot deeper than what I thought. Like when I swatch it on my hand, I do really love a deep brown, but I just don't feel like it's going with this look. I am obsessed with the other two shades though. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited for these lipsticks. All right, well, I went back in with the first Lippy Chic. This is in the shade Shout Out. I thought I would like the brown one more than this one, but I think it's the opposite way around. All right, guys, well, that is all for today's video, testing out W7 Cosmetics. I think my favorite products would have to be these two lipsticks, the nude shade and the shade I'm wearing now. Next best performing, I think, would have to be the highlighter. If you're into a metallic finish, I think you will really enjoy that. If you have any favorite products from the brand, I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below. Also, let me know what you thought of today's video and how the products performed. If you enjoyed watching it, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you want to see more drugstore related content, I will have a few videos listed down below. Otherwise, just go browse my channel. Like, there's a ton of stuff, really. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. And you can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. All right, that is all from me. I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.